didn't begin with the Nazis. They were progressive, we would today call liberal people, in the Weimar regime, doctors Binding and Hooker, for example, who published a book promoting eugenics in the 19-teens and 20s uh, called Life Unworthy of, L- of Life, or Lives Unworthy of Life. Uh, we it's must think that it's only would... Nazis who go in for eugenics. Right. We must not go down that path. So that part of your message I absolutely agree with. Let's stop well, well, now. It, right. It, it, it starts at it, that the Nazis took that and used it for political purposes. What I'm talking about is the, the seeds of what can get out of control is you wouldn't want to live that way. I wouldn't want to live that way. That's that's what a life worth on living. Uh, uh, right. That's how it starts. Uh, Yes, we need to remain deeply committed to the core principle of our civilization and our nation, and that's the profound, inherent, and equal dignity of every human being, irrespective not only of race and class, but also of age, size, stage of development, condition of dependency. Right, and it's important because as we start to go down this road of universal health care and we can't afford to keep everybody alive, then you start to look at, well, okay, well, you can't have the kidney transplant because, well, you've lived a good life anyway, and you should just go away, Grandma. Pa, anyway, I'm sorry I can't help you. Violence so you, is not the answer. Violent right. killing by abortion and euthanasia is simply not the answer. Okay, okay. now give, uh, and I love this, give your um, uh, thesis on uh, pro-choice and how it's, it's a ridiculous phrase. Well, it's a mistaken label. Uh, because it it pushes off stage the real issue that determines where a person stands on the question of abortion, and that is the legitimacy of the choice. If abortion is, as I believe it is, and as I believe you can prove it is very easily as a matter of scientific fact, the intentional killing of a living human being, a member of our species, one of our tiny brothers and sisters, then if you believe that that killing is a legitimate choice, Uh, Whether you call yourself pro-choice or not, you are favoring abortion. You're favoring the legitimacy of abortion. It's a legitimate choice. It's not an injustice. If you're on the other side, uh, on the pro-life side, then, of course, you're opposed to abortion. So it's not a question of of choice. It's a question of whether we think the action is killing an innocent person, is a grave injustice, is an illegitimate choice or not. If you think it's legitimate, then you're for it. If, you, if, if not, you're against it. Th- compare it with slavery. Just take another example, another moral issue. Compare it with slavery. There were plenty of people uh, at the founding of the United States, Thomas Jefferson was one, who said, look, slavery is a bad thing. It's terrible that we have it. I'd prefer a world without slavery. But the world we have is one in which slavery is integrated into our economy and into our culture, and there would be dire consequences for – for uh, b- farms and businesses where slavery is used and for the society as a whole if we abolish slavery. Therefore, reluctantly, uh, I'm going to support the choice of people to have a slave. But that wasn't being pro-choice on slavery. That was being pro-slavery. It was treating slavery as a legitimate choice. Again, the issue is, is it legitimate or is it a grave injustice? If it's legitimate, then you're for it, whether it's slavery or abortion. And if, uh, if it's illegitimate, then you're against it. Just love it. And I have to tell you, uh, America, this guy is a tenured professor. Whenever you start to lose hope about, oh, geez, what are they in doctrine? This is a tenured professor at one of the finest institutions in the country, um, uh, Princeton University. He is a tenured professor along with a guy who is on the opposite end of the spectrum on this, Dr. Peter Singer, uh, who is also a tenured professor a guy I couldn't disagree with more. This is a university that doing it the right way where they'll bring these two guys together and they'll have a debate and let the students decide. Uh, Professor George, you give me hope. You really do. Well, thank you very, uh, very much, uh, Glenn. That's very kind of you uh, to say. And it is true that our students here at Princeton University are exposed to the range of points of view, even on this. Got to tell you, I mean, if you don't know who Peter Singer is, he's a guy who says you have the right to abort your kid up to two years.